Sue managed 17 days in camp in that time. She conquered cockroaches in hell holes. She got gunked in awful and endured hundreds of green ants in the unfair fun fair. But look at the smile on her face. She looks <laughs> delighted to be out. She's going to talk all about her time in the jungle. Let's hear it for Sue! <laughs> What a lovely and smile. Skip. <laughs> We've never had someone skip to us before. <laughs> How are you? Come on I'm in. Good, thank you. You seem thrilled to be out. Uh, my time is done. Right. Yeah, you're done? Yes, I'm done. Oh, well, look, we can talk all about it, but settle in, have a drink, and let's take a look at your jungle highlights. You fooled me. I want to stay. Cock off, they're cockroaches. It's been the ride of my life. <laughs> I've loved living with that woman every single day. And I'm happy to move your shit. <laughs> Strike a pose. Oh! Oh, bollocks. Oh. All hell broke loose. <laughs> I don't think you could ever forget this experience. Don't humiliate me on national television. <laughs> Sorry, I was having a dump. Definitely have made lifelong friends. Where are the dishwasher tablets? <laughs> Sue, being my campmate wife. Oh, we've got your back. Mm -mm, thank you, my love. I can't imagine these people not being in my life. And I'm dying for a poo. I'm really sorry. <laughs> Sue, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Sue, so it... much toilet talk. <laughs> How does it feel watching all that back? Oh, it's lovely. Those guys, they're I mean, amazing. Camp life, I've absolutely adored it. Have you? I've, I've absolutely adored waking up in the jungle, yeah. all the sounds. That has been wonderful. You can stuff your trials <laughs> right, okay. where the sun don't shine, quite frankly. <laughs> um, but no, I've loved all that. I yeah. really have. I but really your have. time was done. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely had enough. Hit wall and just gone, no. It, do you know what? It's the anxiety. It's the not knowing. Uh -huh. it's, like, it's like having absolutely no control yeah. over your life. And it's like, that. that's weird. That is yeah. so weird. Yeah. Did you find it hard to start with? Because we've known you as Eileen for yeah. 23 years on yeah. Coronation Street. Were you a bit nervous going in there as yourself? Yeah, because well, I'm quite a private person. Uh -huh. But, I mean, everyone who knows me knows that I'm like this. But, yeah, I've always been sort of... I've always kept part of me... Separate. Yeah. I kept my my work and my and my life very very separate. So it was kind of a big deal for me to sort of like go. Oh my God! Everyone's going to see what I'm actually really like. And oh, also, you, and also living in such close proximity yes. to, to to a lot of other people, you yes. know, can cause friction. Um, and you did not take any nonsense, Sue. Have a look at this. God. Do you know what? He's shaved. He's left all his crap in the bowl. The wrath of Sue. I'm so sorry. We won't be doing this again. She's a no-nonsense lady who just says what she feels. <laughs> Tortoise, grow up. That one's a bit short on chicken, isn't it? Empty the bowl, <laughs> witch. Oh. You look like you're shocked yourself there, Sue. <laughs> Do you know what, though? Fair play. You know, if you're going to have a shave in the bowl, empty yourself. Yeah, it's That's not what nice. It's not pleasant. But you do forget. Yeah. You do forget. We could tell. <laughs> was it hard sharing a camp with ten strangers at first? At, at first it was, but do you know what? I just I just enjoyed I just I did enjoy all that. I loved yeah. waking up and I'd look over and I'd see Charlene. And you know, I just I did. I loved being in there for that. The camp I loved. Mm. I really Cause, did. Because that was the thing, you kind of, you went all you all went in as strangers, but you very quickly kind of yeah. formed a family unit. Yes, didn't very you? much so. Very much so. I I just think we've been so fortunate. Yeah. Because I don't know what it would be like if you had an absolute in the camp. Uh huh. <laughs> yeah, no, it could be a nightmare. You could stuck be with shocking. that. Um you ran a tight ship, as we've just discussed. <laughs> you didn't take any nonsense from anyone, but you also showed your care inside as well. Have oh. a look at this. Oh. A bit of a cry. Oh darling. I'm all right though. We'll send out for pizza. <laughs> Sue is an amazing listening ear. It was like having therapy, but for free. And if you have a wobble, I'm, I'm here. I'm, Thank you, you know, yeah. You know that. Yeah. yeah. Oh, bless you. When did you get so wise? <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
You were very caring and you showed a very lovely, loving side to, to, to the rest of your campmates. I, is it difficult when, when everything's stripped away? Do, do the small things become really big things in there? Yeah, yeah. I, I think the biggest thing is that you feel very vulnerable. Mm. And humans who don't have any control over their situation, yeah, things things get to you. Things get to you, and you know I had my moment in there. I had a day mm -hmm. where you had I a little was... wobble in the RV, and you were yeah. yeah. crying to yourself. Yeah. Yeah. Why? Yeah. Why was that? Just one of those days. I just had one of those days. I just hit a low. I didn't sleep in the RV that night. Mm. Um, it was really uncomfortable, and I just didn't sleep. And then when one thing goes, it's like a domino. Right. Yeah. yeah, and it, and the smallest thing can just set you off. And that was my day. Yeah, and that was, was my was, day. Was that side of things tougher than you expected it to be? Do you know what? I, I felt like I was pretty resilient, mm -hmm. but I just had that one day. It is tough in there. Mm -hmm. It's not easy. And we all watch it at home. I've watched every single season. Yeah. And it's easy start. shot from the sofa, isn't it's it? It's so easy. <laughs> you know, and I've done that and gone like, oh, yeah. Get over. But you really, you've got to live it to, to know what it's like. Yeah. The, 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 the high, I've said this several times, it's that being hyper alert to everything. Uh -huh. You know, when you go to the dunny, when you put your <laughs> shoes on, is there a scorpion in your shoes? Is there a snake crawling across yeah. the camp? Yeah, you don't think of these things watching no. at home. No. Uh, you got very close to your camp husband as well, old oh, Mike. My. The two of you were lovely together. Have yeah. a look. Oh. All rise for my friend, Mike Drop Tyndall. Sue, my in-camp wife, amazingly caring and just great fun to be around. She's always been at my side. It's going to be Sue. Oh. Turn over, Mike. We'll look after you. I know, darling. Thank you. Row number well, eight. Hang on. Tell me when I'm at row eight. Chips, Chips and, and chilling. chilling. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you think you got on so well with Mike? I don't know. I just think, I mean, we just we just connected instantly. We've got uh -huh. a similar sense of humour and he's been like my bro in there. Yeah. I, honestly, he's been such a support. And Mike's such a hugger. Do you know what right, I mean? Yeah. It's like, you ever need someone... I bet he gives a good hug. Oh, he gives a great hug. Yeah, good rugger he hugger. He's a rugger Firm hugger. Hug. <laughs> and he's just a top man. And, yeah, he's just... I, I think he's just he's just such a lovely, lovely man. Uh, now you're at the end of it and you kind of said, you know, you were done, you were ready to go. Was it all you expected it to be? Yes. Was it? Yeah. I've had the ride of my life. Oh, I good. really have. And I will never forget it. And I'm glad it ended there because you don't want to see bad Sue. <laughs> oh, 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 I think oh, we did. Think oh! did. Uh, <laughs> Sue, just before you go, um, you've got your campmates left in there. Yeah. Who would you like to win? Oh, gosh, that is so hard. Do you know what? I'm going for the girl. I'm going for Jill. Yeah. Oh, good. I'm going to go for Jill. Yeah. She's an absolute trooper, beautiful human being, strong, sassy, and I think she should have a career as a supermodel. Yeah. Oh, well, okay. Well, Sue, uh, thank you very thank much. You thank you for the Right now, all that's left for us to say is Sue, you're a celebrity. Get, Get yourself out of there. Thank you.